Is it anyhow beneficial? Is it similar to running at elevation? So yeah, that's why I'm doing this, just to find out all of these things. Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm on my way to go and do a two hour plus long run. Um, I firstly want to say you don't need to wear a mask when going out running. It's actually um, suggested not to wear a mask for any intense exercises. However, <laughs> I've decided to go and test this out for you all and see um, what happens and how I feel when using a mask during training. Now the main reason for wearing a mask is to stop the spread of, of the, the COVID-19 infections, especially when uh, in close contact with others. So yeah, I've been, I've, been I've been running quite easily in them, not a problem. I think when I pick up intensity, it might be difficult to use the, the mask. Please tell me in the comments what you think are the benefits of running with a mask. Is it going to be anyhow beneficial uh, to try and get the same effect you would get from training at higher elevation? Now, why I've actually decided to do this is uh, just to test the effects uh, the mask has on you um, in regards of training and increasing your VO2 max. Um, is it any how beneficial? Is it similar to running at elevation? So yeah, that's why I'm doing this just to find out all of these things uh, for myself, and uh, if it if I'll be able to use it later on in my training or not. Oh, let me push on. Well, uh, training masks that they sell are supposed to help you achieve your VO2 max, but scientific research shows mixed results. Now, I've used this mask in other short runs just to get used to it, get myself used to running in a mask. But this is now the first time that I'm attempting a two hour run in the, in the, in the mask. Yo. I would say yes and no, just because you're breathing in the same air, there's no oxygen starvation happening there that you would find at higher altitudes. But instead you get your restricted airflow, which actually strengthens your respiratory muscles. So yes, a mask does restrict the amount of air you pull into your lungs, but not the oxygen content of the air. However, I still think there's an advantage because if you put the increased load on your body during training and then remove that load, you'll perform so much better. Much like training with ankle weights over time, your body will adapt until you get to a point where you don't even feel those weights. Only up until you remove the weights and you notice you feel so much lighter and faster and uh, have more endurance. So hopefully wearing the mask will give the similar effect to strengthen the cardiovascular system and end up increasing your VO2 max. So yes, VO2 max refers to how much oxygen your body can absorb and use during exercises. Just think about it. If I gradually start using the mask more on my training runs, I would most probably get used to the rest restricted airflow. So when I remove the mask, the oxygen levels will be so much higher during that run. How would my body react? Well, I must say running with the mask at slower paces is actually doable. And it's quite easy to breathe through the mask. It's only when you pick up your pace uh, that it really gets difficult and you start to suck the mask flat to your face. 
just to get that much needed AE. Well, I must say I won't be doing this again when it's hot, but I can really see myself going out in the winter or during those cold morning runs. I'm sure using the mask will help reduce the chance of catching any common colds, as long as it stays dry. But if I think about it, I might use the mask more in the future. It all just depends how I feel tomorrow after this training run. So yes, I've only completed like 6 kilometers now and it's really tough wearing the mask I had to reduce my pace drastically just to cope with the mask I can basically understand now why elite runners prefer not to use masks during training because you need to reduce your pace just to cope with the mask but uh, it does really feel like I'm running at the top of a mountain. Oh. Now there's so many different types of masks out there. Um, many different types. There's so many different face masks out there, it's actually really difficult to find the right one with the right feel, having it fit comfortably. However, research states that cloth masks made of moisture wicking material uh, such as polyester works very well. And uh, don't use a wet mask, I would rather change it out during the workout. Yeah, because now there's so many mask out there I prefer this one it's the closest I have to a VO2 max mask uh, preferably I should have used the VO2 max mask but this is really the closest I have so I prefer it because it seals off nicely much more than any of the other masks and it uh, it'll serve the purpose yes I have to take off the mask to drink water. That's basically the only time. Wow! <laughs> okay. Let's put it back on. Let's go. Wearing a face mask reduces the level of oxygen intake and can cause a buildup of carbon dioxide. So be careful feeling short of breath, feeling dizzy or lightheaded, or any chest pains, labored breathing beyond normal. Rather stop the running immediately and remove your face mask. Given a face mask can restrict airflow, I would set expectations a bit lower and monitor my breathing and heart rate carefully. I noticed is that my heart rate was a bit elevated when I was having the mask on during the training run. Okay, so I'm almost an hour and a half into my run. It's still difficult to breathe with the mask. However, somehow my body has come to terms with the mask. And uh, sometimes I forget I have it on. And uh, I've, I've managed to run just about a four minute K for a few k's now and uh, yeah seems like I'm used to it now so what I understand from research is wearing the mask during exercise the human body should start to adapt to the reduced oxygen making the heart and the lungs work harder and when you remove the face mask, the airflow will be at its max again. And because the human body is so incredibly capable to adapt to outside stresses, it should be able to use the oxygen more efficiently, which will then be able to perform better, creating a more positive impact over time. But the effects will be so much greater when going out to train at real altitudes 
actually the best thing is to go out and run at a high altitude maybe like 10,000 or 14,000 foot above sea level to really get a bigger advantage now I might be crazy by doing this but I could have gone out and done a normal two hour long run without a mask but I feel running with the mask um, I'm going to get the best benefit out of my run Alright everyone, so before I give my final feedback on uh, um, this topic please subscribe to my channel it's the small red block right here on the right hand side so I must be crazy by doing this um, I almost feel like a mad scientist training in a mask but uh, for me it really works the reason why I'm saying that is because I, I did my two hour long run with the mask on and uh, two days after that I went out and did some hill repeats and man was I amazed how awesome I felt and how easy I could breathe it's, it's just amazing um, as you all know a hill um, repeat session is a really hard activity but not once through that whole activity I could really say I felt out of breath I could just keep on going and going and going so it's really awesome to, to uh, get that kind of feedback from uh, training with a mask but just to get back to training to um, to to get back to training with a mask it's really really hard um, it's not something that I would do often especially when uh, uh, um, when it's hot and uh, especially when I'm running uphills in the mask it, it, it gets really really hard um, it's, it's really tough training in a mask I must say uh, so yes but I, I feel Training in a mask once a week might just give me that cardiovascular increase that can possibly take my um, running to the next level. Because the, my whole idea with this um, is to increase my lung capacity, um, increase my anaerobic threshold and my physical endurance. So um, I feel it might just give me a positive impact over time. However, it will definitely not replace real altitude training. So yes, uh, thanks for watching my, my video. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, I hope this has given you some more insight in training with a mask. So if you've subscribed to this channel, uh, you'll be first in line to view my next video all about VO2 max and how to calculate VO2 max easily. Thank you for watching, live your life to the fullest and enjoy every moment.